name is Heather Lahr and I'm the Aquarist here at the Sea Center. So that means I'm in charge of all of the life support systems, uh, maintaining the animals and then also going out and collecting all of the animals for the Sea Center. The Ty Warner Sea Center is part of the Museum of Natural History. Uh, it started in 1986 and then it actually burnt down and then we rebuilt it in 2003. And so this is the new building that you're seeing here right now. And the goal of the Museum of Natural History is to inspire a passion for the natural world. So if you go up to our Mission Creek campus, you can learn all about the, the creek and that part of Santa Barbara. And then down here, we want to inspire a passion for the marine world. So that's why we have both campuses. Santa Barbara is a unique place in California because we're right across from the Channel Islands. So here at the Sea Center, we only showcase animals that we have in the channel. And with our new exhibit that we have on display, which is camouflage, we're trying to highlight different ecosystems that are unique to this area. And some animals have adapted so far into those ecosystems that if they are no longer there, then the animals won't have a place to live. So we decided to highlight camouflage. One of our favorite animals here at the Sea Center is the octopus, and so she's the star of the show. So this is our new camouflage exhibit and we come up the stairs and we start in the kelp forest which is a, a wonderful, amazing ecosystem that we have here off our coast in California and actually at the Channel Islands is one of the longest kelp monitoring projects that's been going on in the world. So we have learned a lot about our kelp and some of the animals that like to live in kelp and blend in in the kelp. We have a few different fish species in here, one of them being a kelp fish. And then we also have some calico bass or kelp bass, which is a commercially important fish here in Santa Barbara. And then we also have over here our kelp crabs, which they will actually eat the kelp. And depending on what color the kelp is, is that's the color that they're going to be turning. So they are uniquely adapted to their environment. There's two different kinds of grass that we have in our oceans. We have surf grass and eelgrass. And eelgrass is actually a really endangered habitat. And there's an organization called Channel Keepers that is working to restore our eelgrass beds. But because it lives in a soft, sandy bottom, any sort of dredging or anything like that is gonna ruin our eelgrass environments. And some of the animals that live in there would be our pipefish as well as our tube snout. And this is pretty much the only place they live. Some of them will live in kelp paddies as well, but if the eelgrass were to be destroyed, then none of these animals would have a home. And one of our most popular things here at the Sea Center is actually our, one of our touch tanks. So in here we can reach in and touch many different animals that might be living in a sandy bottom environment. Our, one of our most popular is going to be our bat star and our sea stars. And our friend to the sandy bottom is a sea cucumber, which surprises everyone with just how squishy it really is. This is our two spot octopus and we've had her for about a year and a half. She's very friendly and social, and she's a hit with the crowd. This is where we go into our open ocean part of the exhibit, and we're highly highlighting a few different camouflage techniques here. As you go deeper and deeper in the ocean, different wavelengths of light actually disappear. The first one to go is the red, color red. So many creatures that live in the very bottom of the ocean are actually bright red, which you would think are not camouflaged at all. But since there's no red when you go down deep, no one can see them. So these are some of the, the species that actually live down at the depths. We of course can't have live species because I don't have a tank that is big enough to hold some of these really deep down creatures. And our last animal that we're highlighting in the open ocean is everybody's favorite, the jellyfish. 
These are actually called moon jellies, and they are able to camouflage because they are clear. But as you can see, they're not totally clear, and they actually look like a plastic bag a lot in water. So many sea turtles and even some fish will eat these moon jellies. That's part of their diet. So if you eat, we end up with a lot of trash and plastic bags in the ocean. The animals end up choking on them, and then we all know that's not a good story. The Sea Center is open every day from 10 to 5, and the camouflage exhibit is going to be running from now all the way through the end of November. So come on down to the Sea Center and check out our new exhibit and some of the unique animals that can only live here in our Santa Barbara channel.